Who wants mold with their eyes? Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> How about roaches with food in the kitchen? It's going even lower. <laughs> not I. And not me, not you, and certainly not the health inspectors. Tonight, we expose the dirty diners to keep you safe. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. The job of a restaurant can be easily spelled out. To bring good food and good service to everybody. Miss the mark and the food patrol steps in. You're exposing them and there's nothing wrong with it. If they did their job and they were on top of it, you wouldn't be right here today. Here at places like Colima Restaurant on 1402 North Clausner in Edinburgh. <laughs> 21 demerits, it's a low performer. The inspection score isn't good for public image. Gloria Garcia gives her take. Either laziness or they don't care. She doesn't like the violations and neither does the food patrol. Stuff like food on the floor, that shouldn't happen. Let's find out why. It doesn't take long to figure out management is apparently not around. That means no answer for the missing paper towels, no answer for the missing labels for expiration dates on foods, no answer for the dirty equipment, and no answer for why there's food on the floor. Chicken flautas on the menu, not on the menu, high demerits. Where? Take a look. Sevilla Cafe, South Texas Boulevard in Wessico. It's this week's dirtiest diner. Inspectors found a number of health code violations at the place that's closed now. Everything from off-temperature food, mold, to those creepy crawlers. <laughs> 29 demerits on a health report, off-temperature beef, no hairnets, improper labeling, no soap or towels for proper sanitation, mold in the ice machine, <coughs> and roaches. Ernesto Trevino calls the report stomach-turning. He won't be dining at Sevilla Cafe. Well, that's a serious problem because it creates a health issue, and I wouldn't eat here at all. I mean, I wouldn't even recommend it to anyone. The mood is quite different at Domino's Pizza and 2016 Nolana Avenue in McAllen. You keep it clean! That's because the pizza shop earns its first top performer sticker for zero demerits. The achievement has been a goal for Gerardo Puentes, GM at the store. I think everybody watches Channel 4 just to make sure they're eating in a good place. You know what we say to that? Keep it clean! We're on Channel 4 with Ryan Wolf. <laughs> And congrats to these additional top performers. Subway, Taqueria, Jalisco, and McDonald's all in Harlan Gin, Vermilion Restaurant, Cafe Shiraz, and Domino's Pizza in Brownsville, Denny's Restaurant and Church's Chicken, as well as McDonald's in Edinburgh. Good for you. Remember, kitchens, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Hey, Food Patrol plant fans, you have a place to share where you think things are clean or dirty. Tell others about it. You can always turn to our station Facebook page or find me on Facebook. Just search Ryan Wolf. I'm online chatting with people about tonight's episode right now.